Hi, I'm Julian Trutman with SMU Guildhall's Cohort 15 using UDK version 7637. Today's date is January 26, 2011. And this is part two of an introduction to UDK's Unreal script. In part one, we set up a project and established certain parameters for that project, certain properties, excuse me, for that project. And we started, we ended off by creating a uh, simple class. Uh, we save this class into a project folder that we made, uh, UDK development source. Project name is Unreal Tutorial Project. And in this segment, we're going to be building a very basic Unreal script. So we can already see that we have our keyword highlighting and IntelliSense is working for us. So we've built this class named Deathmatch Super Regen. And let's talk a little bit about what this is going to do for us. So in this tutorial, we're going to put together a simple class uh, that's going to allow our character to regenerate health as they play the game. Uh, so there are three types of um, modifications that we can make to Unreal. The first is a mutator, which changes a simple uh, element inside the game. Multiple mutators can be used simultaneously uh, within the game. I can make one, my friend can make one, and we can turn either one on or off. They're designed to be um, mutually compatible. Uh, we're not going to be using these so much at the guild hall. What we're going to be using at the guild hall are uh, mods and uh, total conversions. A mod changes a uh, game type within UDK. In this case, UT Deathmatch. Super Regen is going to extend or change our UT Deathmatch class. Uh, this will allow us to change win and lose parameters as, as well as a variety of other important factors. A total conversion is essentially the same thing, except we're creating a brand new game type. We can change everything so vastly that it, it essentially becomes a new game entirely. So in order to do this, we're going to also want to create a new class. So let's go to File, New, a new file. And like last time, we're going to open up a text file. In this class, we're going to say, class. We're going to call this pawn underscore super regen extends ut pawn semicolon. Okay, let's save out this new class like we did last time. File, saves text file as. We're going to open up UDK UDK, development, source, and scroll down to our project file, Unreal Tutorial Project, open up classes, and we're going to make sure that we name this file the same as the class that we've just created. So in our case, we're going to entitle this pawn underscore super region dot uc. Let's save that out. Okay. With that saved out, we're going to want to start writing some code. We're going to start by writing out a couple of functions. First, let's write simulated function post begin play. Then we're going to need a timer function. Let's say function timer. And uh, we're also going to need our default properties. So let's type in default properties. So with that completed, we're going to want to start thinking about how we're going to do this. So the first thing we're going to need is something that indicates how much we regenerate over time. So we need a variable, say var int and regen. per sec. So now that we've defined this variable, we can set a default value for it down here in the default properties. Uh, we can say regen per sec is equal to 10. Now in the default properties, we don't have to put a semicolon, though we can if we want to. And essentially anything, any value that we state or any default property that we state in the default properties for this particular actor will also be inherited by any subclasses or any children of this uh, class if we, if we choose to declare them. Uh, so let's leave it at that. 
and come back up to our simulated function. And in here, what we're going to want to do is call super dot post begin game. Excuse me, post begin play. What this will do is it'll call the function ahead of that, or above that in the hierarchy, and essentially replace the two for, for themselves. The next thing we're going to want to do is come up here and type in set timer. And we can say 1.0 is the parameter, and also true. So what this is going to do is it's going to do one second interval timers, um, and it's going to continue to loop them because we've had this true statement. So next, uh, in our function timer, we're going to start. We're going to want to build an if statement. Here we're going to say, if our if our character controller excuse me, if our controller dot is a Uh, is a player controller and that player controller is not is in pain in other words they're not being damaged by some other terrain um, uh, or environmental effect uh, and our uh, health is less than our is less than our super health max. Then let's go ahead and say we're going to want to. I'm going to say health equals. Health equals min health plus regen per second and super health max. OK, now let's save that out and switch gears momentarily. Let's switch back to our deathmatch super regen. And what we're going to want to do here is also put in our default properties. So let's say default properties. And in here, we're going to want to tell this particular game type that we want to load up as our default pawn, our super regen pawn. So, so what we're going to say here is default pawn class is equal to class, we're going to say the name of our uh, pawn class, so uh, pawn underscore super regen. And since we're in the default properties, we don't need to apply this. So let's save this out as well. Now we're going to want to go back into our properties, Solution Explorer properties and take a look at this. Let's load map at startup. This is in the debug configuration. And we're going to say, for the sake of ease, dm-deck, which is a map that comes uh, standard with UDK. And uh, start with a specified game type. That's we're going to put in the name of our project, in this case, Unreal Tutorial Project, dot the game type that we want to load. In our case, deathmatch underscore super regen. And let's save that project out again. OK, let's go ahead and build this now. We can save it out and uh, rebuild solution. And then let's go ahead and hit play. And scripts are outdated. Would you like to rebuild? So yeah, let's rebuild. So we can see it's come up with a couple of errors. Error type incompatible with not and uh, missing. All right, so we can go in and take a quick look at uh, fixing those. So simple mistake here. I need to add in 
double paren, and here I need to add a semicolon to the end. All right, let's save this out again and try rebuilding again. Let's hit play. Scripts are updated. Yes, update again. Great. Zero warnings, zero errors. Let's close this out and hit play. This is going to launch our Unreal Development Kit, and we still we can see our log is running here. This will tell us exactly what it's doing in terms of loading up that information. Here we can also see, because of the way that we've set up our project file, we also see the output appearing in our uh, debug in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, which will be very useful for us. All right, here's the moment of truth. In the bottom right-hand corner, we can see that our health is incrementally getting higher. All right, thank you very much, and that will conclude our tutorial of part two for introducing UDK. Uh, my partners, Benjamin Pope and Derek Jansen, will continue with some more advanced tutorials at this stage. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.